and welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's early, it's Monday morning. It's a new week of new opportunities. And what just happened? The Federal Reserve just came out Sunday night and gave us an update. And the last time we had a Sunday night update was last week. But before that, it was COVID. On Sunday, they cut rates from 2% to 0%. That was the bottom of the market and a huge rip to the upside for Bitcoin. So what happened? Federal Reserve on Sunday just put out an update on liquidity swaps. They're going to do it on a daily basis versus a weekly. Now, let's put that into plain English. They agreed with the Bank of Japan, Canada, England, the Swiss Bank, the ECB. They're going to produce liquidity swaps on a daily basis rather than a weekly. So essentially, the banking contagion is going all over the world. And let's say you're in Japan and all of a sudden you don't feel safe to money in the bank and you go and pull your money out. Well, um, if the same thing happens in the Bank of Japan that happened with Credit Suisse, that happened with SVB Bank, that happened with all the other banks where people are deciding, hey, I don't want to put my money in a credit union or some small bank. I'm going to go to the big bank. Well, um, the Fed is just essentially said, here's free dollars, everybody. Don't worry, we'll swap your yens for dollars, your, your British pounds for dollars. We'll just swap it all out. And so what has been the result? Well, I don't know if you guys know this, but gold opens up on <coughs> Sunday afternoon. And what happened? We spiked into $2,000 an ounce. Big rip for gold to the upside. Silver just hit our target at 2268. I did post that in the Discord. Nice trade. Um, the question is, are we going to go for more? And what about Bitcoin? So Bitcoin hovering at 28,000 at the moment. And uh, the dollar is putting a little bit of a bounce right now. And essentially, the next big thing on the board is, uh, well, Christine Lagarde is speaking today. Guess what she said? There's no sustainable systemic risk uh, to the banking system. Uh, sounds like she's full of baloney to me once again. Once again, Christine Lagarde uh, reassuring markets along with Janet Yellen. And uh, I, I just can't believe how these people are even in positions that they are in. But um, here's what I want to bring up on Bitcoin's Looks like it wants to continue for more um, on the daily time frame. Stokes are in the critical zone. We're back in the bullish control zone. However, if you do see any kind of a closure below 26,758 on a daily time frame, likely uh, we're going to come back down for a nice swoop down and pro possibly tag this trend line. And just, you know, putting a quick little um, bearish retracement here from the high to the low, the 0.5 and the 618, where you typically see those uh, higher lows come in is gonna be right in this zone. So I just will draw another little box in here. And, um, you know, I, I do think a pullback into this area is definitely possible if we do close anywhere below 26, this wick right here, 26, uh, call it 26,650. We are playing in a bit of a bounce right now. Uh, so power to you, Bitcoin. Um, what else do I want to bring up that we've been talking about? Was the five-day volatility signature here. And we said, hey, look, if we get expansion on the five-day above 20 percentile, that the resulting move is about 40% higher. Uh, credit for Crown on the uh, statistics there. Um, so we're with 40% from the low. And remember, momentum is crossed up to the upside right now. We're back in the bullish control zone after having a test in there. And typically, that looks like onwards and upwards for me. We got one day and 10 hours left for this next five-day closure. And I would say... If we do close uh, with momentum to the upside, anywhere above 26,728, that's going to look good for an extension on this rally. And 40% uh, from the low, I would say 
to be conservative, we used this low, right, uh, which is pretty much where we crossed up. So 40% from this low, that does take us just a bit higher. Just a bit higher, a smidge higher. So $30,000 target in clear sight here, another $2,000 higher. Um, let's check out the two day. Two days up, volatility is expanded. The daily, the volatility is maxing out. Again, when we see volatility come back down, probably going to get a mean reversion bounce on the daily time frame. And the three day as well is getting expansion off the lows right there, getting expansion from that pivot. And the five day, the five day continuing upwards and onwards. Um, what else will I bring up? The weekly Gaussian channel, which if we pull this up, we did have a nice bullish close. So we did not close above the mean band, but we have a chance to do it this week. And if we do close above there, you're looking at a free ride up to about 33,270 in that range. Um, if we do close below it, however, this week, well, um, chances are we're going to come back down to this green box, which um, would be good and healthy for the rest of the market. It does look like you know people are rotating to Bitcoin um, as fear of the banking system is uh, you know ebbing and flowing even stronger and stronger day by day. Um, what else did I want to bring up here? So, um, you know, I do have some of the trending altcoins here on the right hand side highlighted in blue CFX, AGIX, Stax, VRA, SSV, yeah, Gala, Sand, Mana, Render, CRO. Uh, CRO not doing too well uh, compared to some of the others. But in general, um, we are expecting some further continuations to the upside. And then we're going to pull back at some point. And I, I'd say uh, the thing to look for is a volatility reset on the daily time frame, which that could come in some weeks. I mean, if to be fair, it could take quite a bit of time here uh, before that does happen. Let me just put on my regular chart here again. Um, you know, we've seen this thing go for many days in the volatile zone, but again, as you've seen volatility start to decline and what you want to see for that next pullback is the BBWP, this colored line cross below the, uh, white line, which is the moving average. And then for it to get a negative slope, and that will be the indicator for the next, you know, decent sized pullback. Um, what else can we see here on the dollar? So I personally don't see how the dollar would bounce from here with, um, you know, us coming pretty much down to that target, which we never got above the 105 pivot. We got close enough, was close enough to that target. But if the dollar goes down, you'd expect risk assets to go up. And we're just heading to the 0.5. The next target is going to be the 618. So if we do close the day anywhere below this line, which I'll move it up just slightly right here at 103.26, then very, very likely dollar does come down a bit further and initiate again the uh, six month target, which we had been talking about for some time, all the way down to 98.97. And that would really start to uh, goose the odds in favor of the bears, you know, black swan event, whatever you want to call it. The banking system collapses. And we do have some people putting some bets on the board. There was some guy betting that Bitcoin will head up to a million dollars in the next 90 days. Could you guys imagine if something like that happened? Let me know in your comments below what you think, where Bitcoin will head over the next 90 days. Bringing up that point, the quarterly is going to close very, very soon. 
with a massive, uh, and look, I mean, look at that target coming in at 30,480. I do think that is probably going to be an area of resistance and, um, you know, pretty much all the macro conditions for us looking for a macro low to be put in have been put in. Um, one of them, you know, two of them did not get ticked off. We went over those in detail. I'm going to leave you guys with that for today. Um, but if the quarterly does close anywhere above, you know, this pivot right here, then um, I would expect a continuation on the next quarter at least some continuation and um, you know just leaving it off there I think that is it for today and um, I hope you guys have a blessed and highly favored day take care